see. Okay, there we go. I just couldn't see. All right. <laughs> Hot mess as per usual. Um, so Michael is going to be talking to us tonight about, well, I'm off the topic already, leading and speaking to the people in front of you. So she's amazing. I love her. She's my success D. So here we go. Go ahead. Thanks, Melissa. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> Um, so guys, this is actually going to be um, short and sweet tonight. I have just some tips that I had gained from a book that I was reading that I wanted to share with you guys. And this isn't really necessarily how to serve the people in front of you, but maybe how you can serve the people that you're missing that are right in front of you. So the first person is who is already listening to you? So many times, ladies, I feel like we are working so hard to find new people that we're forgetting the people that are actually watching our stories. They have been on our, you know, accounts forever. And maybe we've invited in the past, but maybe we haven't followed up with, and they've kind of gotten lost in the shuffle. These could be like, you know, your neighbors, friends, family, people that you truly know, right? Like current followers. These are people that you actually might know a little bit more about than just your um, random people that you decided to follow for hashtags or whatever. Um, and what I think that we all need to take time to think about is what do they need to hear from you? What do your friends and family need to hear from you? What are they going through? What are their struggles? Um, because I feel like sometimes I personally am reaching for such new people and I'm focusing so much on like what I feel like my specific brand is that I'm forgetting all of these people who may not be at that point in their life and who need to need me to start at that place where I was broken before. So I think it's really important that the people we know personally, we need to talk to them as if we do know them personally. So what would they need to hear? Do they need encouraged? Um, do they need to be shown some vulnerability from you? Like shown that not every day is perfect. Melissa gave me, you know, a talk the other day talking about how I needed to get back to that part of my life. Cause there are plenty of days where I have nothing together, but I don't like to show up that way, but people need to see that, especially friends and family who know me. Um, so maybe they need to see that from you. Maybe they need to be shown grace. Um, maybe they need to see that you have a crazy busy lifestyle and that you're not like schedule oriented. Like you like to portray all the time. Like I was, maybe you need to show them Jesus. Yes. I'm a Jesus lover. You will hear me mention him multiple times. Um, so Maybe they need to see some Jesus, right? Maybe you need to show them his grace, his love through your stories. And that's the only place that they get that. Um, so think about your, your friends and family. Where are they at? What season of life are they in? And how can you directly relate to them? Um, I think that another thing we also forget is that we are the most influential when we are actively showing and talking about how we're doing the things and not just surviving, but how they allow us to thrive. So we're doing these things, but why are they helping us thrive? We have to make sure we're showing that actively in our stories and our posts um, every single day. Um, secondly, this is one that <laughs> probably you guys have not thought about. So the second group of people that you need to make sure you are serving right now are the people that you tend to judge or the people who are different from you. So here's the thing, the people that follow you um, but maybe a little bit different from you or maybe frustrate you a little bit because they are so different from you, they likely need you, right? If they are that different from you, but you are, they are still following you, they're still watching your stories, they're still interacting with you, guaranteed they need what you have to offer. Whether it's your story, whether it's this opportunity, whether it's your challenge group, your free group, there is something that is keeping them on your page. So maybe they're not like the perfect avatar for you, but you need to not ignore the people that God is placing directly in your line of path. Like those people still need to hear what you have to say. So I like to think about it like this. And I've said this multiple times, especially in the last week, hurt people, hurt people. So those people who you think are just so different from you, or you like would butt heads on so many different levels, I think that a lot of them are probably in a place of brokenness. And we have to remember that before we found this community and before we found these solutions to the problems that we had, we were in that same place of brokenness. We still had to learn how to get out of that place and learn how to find that positivity 
without taking it out on other people. And they may not be doing it on purpose. They just are living in a place of such despair that they don't know what they need. So those people who are different from you or who frustrate you, or maybe you go to their stories and they're just negative all the time, don't forget about them. Don't discredit them. Make sure you're showing up for them too. And I'm not saying that, you know, we have to bend over backwards and put all this value into people who are going to suck the energy out of us. But I'm saying if they're interacting on your posts, if they are there every single day, don't hesitate to send that invite because they likely need what you have to offer. They wouldn't be interacting. They wouldn't be engaging. They wouldn't be showing you support unless they needed something from you or unless they found something there that gave them hope or gave them that feeling that they aren't alone in the world. So make sure that these people who you tend to judge or maybe kind of push to the side, you are not discrediting. God places everybody in our path for a reason. You may not get them, you know, to join this business and build it up as high as they can, but you may get them out of that dark place that they were in and they could fall in love with this community and find some friends and truly live a happy life. And that's why I work the business is because it's changed my life that way. So you have to remember, it's not just about building this business. It's about helping these broken people who are looking for that light, right? And I think that something I need to remember too is that if these people who are very different from me, if they feel judged or shamed by me in, or in how I'm acting with them, I lose my power to minister or to serve or to share with them. The way that you interact with people, with the no's, with um, maybe if they say something negative on your page, everything you say to them is a way that you minister to them. For me, you know, I minister to show everybody the love of Christ. That is what I'm here to do in my business, in my stories, in my personal life, in my health journey. It is all for the glory of God. I am ministering to every single person. So for you guys, whoever is not maybe doing a faith-based business, maybe you're missing the opportunity to share this business with them or to share your challenge group with them or to share the community with them. Maybe you are missing that because they feel like they're being judged by you. So every single thing that we say to somebody has to be done in grace. It has to be done with love because truly Beachbody is about loving each other. And I think that's like the core of what this company is made of. So make sure that even when you're with those people who may be hard to handle sometimes, you are thinking twice or maybe pausing before responding. It's hard and it's not gonna be perfect every time, but these people are in your path for a huge reason. Um, okay. So let me check my notes. <laughs> Got notes for sure. Um, okay. So this mean this also doesn't mean that you need to put those, like all this energy into those people. I've already said that once, but some people find you on their own. They come to your page on their own and they will, you know, be inspired by you on their own. And our job is to be kind. So respond to their comment or reaction with love, with grace. I'm just going through my notes because that's the Enneagram one in me. So I have to say everything, <laughs> um, but do so with love. And even if they show interest in something that you are promoting, maybe it's you know a free group or whatever, make sure that if you guys don't vibe with them perfectly or you really don't think you can work with them, you recommend another coach. This community is full of different people and that's what makes it beautiful. So if you are not the perfect person to coach them through whatever season of life they're going through, then you can easily recommend somebody else. And it doesn't mean that, you know, you're not capable of doing it. It just means that they may succeed better with a different form of leadership. So make sure that you don't, you know, go into it thinking that you have to like put up with this person forever. You are there maybe just to put them in line with somebody else. Okay, um, the last point that I have for tonight is make sure that you are seeing everyone. And this comes from a point of personality tests are really big right now. I've already mentioned my Enneagram one. I have like locked onto that since the retreat. And I definitely like that is me 100%. I am Enneagram one. But I think that we are not stuck in one personality. And we are not stuck to serve just one type of people. So as we grow and as we become better and go through different seasons, like we all should be during this coaching business, during this company, you know, through this company, we're all supposed to be growing through this. As we grow, that can change. 
So don't be, again, again, this is, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but my biggest point in this call is that I want you guys to know that there are so many people who you're probably not even reaching out to that just because they may not be an Enneagram one doesn't mean that I can't help them. And just because they don't have a faith-based business doesn't mean that I can't help them because my team right now is, they're all over the place. They're not all 100%, you know, focused on building a business for God, but we're all best friends and we all support each other and we're all pushing each other and we're building the business together. So these people that you're finding, if they're not like your perfect personality or maybe your Enneagram test says that you don't get along with their number or whatever, like <laughs> that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be friends with them. It means that you should open your heart and mind to how you can best work with them because you are growing through this. So just because you are, you know, a piece of paper tells you that you are an Enneagram one, it doesn't mean that you cannot form or change relationships with other people to benefit both them and you. So don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself to one specific type of people. Just because I like to take notes and like to be on a schedule doesn't mean that's the only people that I'm looking for. I'm looking for people across the board, completely across the board, who maybe I can help lead in a way that they are not able to because maybe they're not an Enneagram one. Maybe they don't take notes well. Maybe they don't have the organized schedule mindset. So I can give them tips and they can give me tips. That's what it's all about. We learn and change and grow together. And if you don't have that mix of people, I don't think you're giving yourself that opportunity to reach those new goals or to grow into the person that God has called you to be. Um, I think that's just about it. I mean, pretty much the people that are in your path, I mean, they're there for a reason. So I would say just don't shut them out. There are plenty of people who are giving you the attention that they want something from you. They see something in your page. So share this opportunity, share what's working for you and do it boldly to every single person that comes across. Do it kindly, but do it boldly because we are all called to love and we need to focus on that when it comes to it. So that is it. I was told to keep it short and sweet. So do, does anybody have any questions? I mean, it's fairly simple, but for any takeaways, I guess I could check the chat here. I love that. Sorry. I was trying to, I'm battling to find my microphone. I love that too, so much. And I know it's, you know, you said it's short and sweet, but sometimes honestly, we just need simplify, simplifying and we just need these simple little reminders. And uh, you're just so great at, you know, serving people and speaking to us about how to serve and, and things like that. So I, I appreciate this so much. I loved it so much. And I, I agree. I think that like, I didn't really look into the, um, Enneagram, you know, thing too much before, um, our retreat. And now it's like, it's, it's like, Oh, yep. She must be a two. And it's like, you just understand people so much. Um, so if you guys haven't done that yet, please, please, please do that. And then let us know, um, what it is, Michael, if you want to make a, um, a post in the team page and just share, um, you know, uh, oh no, we did that already. We did that, that I shared a bunch of graphics that kind of told, said, um, what numbers you are and people posted below. So it'd be kind of interesting too, to kind of see, um, you know, finding the other people that maybe your number, um, and, you know, um, you know, just engaging with people in that way and doing that kind of thing in your challenge groups. And it's really great to just understand people. So, um, one wing two, yes, Jessica. You're such a one and I love you for it, both of you. Um, so yeah, let's see. Anything else? Did we have anything in the chat? I think we're good. Um, but we see saw lots of goals, everybody working um, for Success Club this month and we see lots of diamond goals. Um, oh, I hear my baby crying. I'm going to um, stop talking, but if anybody has any questions or anything even that uh, Michael didn't touch on that you want to chat about, feel free to ask away. Um, yeah, but thank you so much. That was great. Okay, so if you guys want to get your candle, and so what I would, I would, recommend a boomerang or a video with a song or something um and if you have lights that you can turn off 
If you have someone special who you are lighting your candle for, feel free to throw it in the chat that you love. Oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> so you can be in the dark. <laughs> you don't have to be seen. <laughs> 